Not exactly the kind of girl you would take home to meet your parents. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Cyberverse Ultra Class Shadow Striker! So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up top here, we have a Shadow Striker. Down here we have the Stealth Sniper Shot! Her name is Shadow Striker on the side of the box. We have Shadow Striker on the other side of the box. We have the Decepticons. She is an Ultra Class, a Class A Ultra, and a Class A Ultra. And on the bottom, we just have words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots, and you have the Stealth Sniper Shot! And her function is she is a vengeful warrior. And that's basically it for the packaging. Man, moving right along, here we have a Shadow Striker, the next in everyone's favorite toy line, Cyberverse! Stop laughing. Stop screaming. You in the back, stop crying, it's just a toy, get a grip, come on now. Anyway, but here is Shadow Striker in her vehicle mode. You see, just a purple car here. We're getting close here. So you can take a look at the details, not a whole lot of detail to look at, but hey, you got the headlights there, picked out in paint. You got the front grille there, done in black. You got the windshields and windows, all picked out in paint as well. Got a spoiler back here. You got this section back here, also picked out in paint. Tail lights, done in red. Uh, there's the top. There's the bottom. You can pretty much see how this is totally going to work out transformation-wise. Uh, she rolls. As rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And there you have that. And for comparison, uh, here she is with the Warrior Class Bumblebee. Here she is with the Ultra Class Starscream. So you can see how that works out. And here she is with the Megs. So you can see how that works out. So, there you go. Now, as with all of these figures, it does have uh, its own little battle gimmick. And Shadow Strikers is the... Stealth Sniper Shot! And to do that, you're just going to press the front of the car in. Boop. And those big cannons there deploy onto the roof. Also, you do have some pretty nice detail going on there. You got some red in there, some red tampograph details on the side there. So that looks pretty cool. Not too shabby. And then to reset it, you just pull the front forward again. Boop. Just collapses back down. So, hey, it's a simple yet pretty effective gimmick right there. And there you go, and that is pretty much it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! And transformation, as you can probably guess, is extremely, extremely simple. You just come to these wheel sections here on the front, pull them up like so, take the arms and untab them, and they will just shift upwards, untab. Shift upwards. Uh, you want to take this whole front grill section here, just fold that back like so. Is everybody following this? I hope so. There will be a test later. And you just split the legs, and that is it. And there you have Shadow Striker in her robot mode. And as you can see, very simplistic, not a whole lot to it. I do like her design, well, her character model design anyway, it's not replicated too well in toy form here, but I do like the design of this particular character in general, just could have been done better toy-wise, but hey, it is what it is. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the head sculpt, head sculpts. Pretty good, you got some red in there, red in there as well, you got the face painted. Eyes done in red, Decepticon symbol right there on the chest. And they did use a metallic paint here for the body, for the arms, these spots here on the legs. A little bit of red there. A little bit of red right here. 
the inside of uh, the wheels. And on the back is still the whole car. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, you can technically use the uh, the gimmick here if you push this down, but the problem is, is then you then push her. Uh, if you bring this up, her head's gonna sink down into her body. <laughs> so you know, that's that's a thing. That's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? And it's kind of fun, I don't know why. Just, hey, woo, hey, hey, whoop. Peekaboo! Okay, let's stop, let's just stop. <laughs> See, I don't even get mad about these things. They make me laugh more than anything, but anyway. As far as articulation goes, uh, the head does not do anything other than, you know, whoop. Peekaboo! Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint, so they can do a full 360. They can move in and out, and that's pretty much it for the arms. No elbows, no wrists, uh, nothing at the waist. Leg movements, all you're getting is that outward movement, and that is it. There's no knees, there's no forward and back. That's, that's it. So all you get is just very... Basic arm movement. Bring it in. Hug me! That's pretty much all you can do with her. So, there you have that. And now, for comparison, here she is with Warrior Class Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. Here she is with Windblade. Here she is with Shockwave. Here she is with Screamer. And here she is with the Megs. So, there you go. So there you have Shadow Striker. Uh, the only pose I can get out of her is, watch out, radioactive man! That's all I can do. That's all I can do with her. But yeah. So yeah, another simple, very basic toy. Not a whole lot to it. I like the coloration on her, so, you know, that's a positive. But otherwise, nothing nothing great happening here. It's unfortunate because I am enjoying the series. I don't know how many of you are watching the series. I have been watching the series, and I am enjoying it. I just, you know, I wish we were getting better toys from it. But, you know, it is what it is. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Cyberverse toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Cyberverse playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M-Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Cyberverse Ultra Class Shadow Striker. And this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Okay, now, just listen to me and everything will go just as planned, okay? Don't believe a word, he says. What the... Excuse me, how dare you? Oh, oh, you're just going to believe him. Oh, okay, okay. You know, it's really hard to build relationships around here when you keep telling people the truth about me.